Welcome to this special feature from Total Eclipse DFW. Today we sat down with Deb Ross, publisher and CEO of KidsOutAndAbout.com and BeyondTheNest.com, co-chair of the American Astronomical Society's National Eclipse Task Force and chairperson of the Rochester Eclipse Task Force to talk about the upcoming total solar eclipse in DFW on April 8th. Thank you, Deb, for sharing your insights with us. How many visitors is DFW expected to have? Right. In terms of actual expectations, I think a million people to the DFW area is conservative. Um, so in the Rochester area, especially because we're expecting drive traffic from you know, the East Coast, um, just our little city is expecting 500,000. Western New York, basically including Niagara Falls, Buffalo, and Rochester, is expecting a million on this whole area. And we have many fewer people. Rochester itself only has 1.1 million people. So in, in the in the MSA, not just in the city. So we're expecting ed, ed, to add 50% to our population that weekend, especially that day. As, that's if the traffic, uh, I'm sorry, if the, if the forecast on April 1st calls for anywhere from sun to part clouds. You guys, they can only drive from like one or two directions to Rochester. Everybody can drive to the DFW area from every direction. Um, and so you stand to get all the traffic from the Southeast. You stand to get traffic from Houston, if it, even if it's just mm -hmm. Houston traveling there. Now, Houston will also go to Austin and San Antonio, but still um, wooing them with great things to do. You'll get, and that's just Houston. And that's just from one direction. So I would, I would think bigger. Um, there's no harm in planning bigger. Um, from a traffic perspective, from an emergency perspective, from an, a, a traffic emergency lane perspective, from a road signage perspective, from a hotel perspective, but y'all already find that the hotels are booked. So 